Hi everyone, welcome to Asami Rat Care. So I'm going to go through really quickly today how to make a kind of mixer for oldie food. So what I often do um, when I'm feeding older rats in particular, they often need a, little, a bit more calories than um, your average rat. And that's because various systems are running less efficiently and you can notice that quite often they get quite skinny, particularly when they're part of a larger group. So what I tend to do is I tend to um, create something that's very high, high processed carb and has additional calories and fat in it, which I can then, when I'm feeding the oldies, I can give them some dry mix and then I can give them a little bit of this kind of separate oldie mix, let's call it. Um, what's in it doesn't matter hugely, um, but I'll talk around about what ingredients I typically add and the logic behind them. Um, so the main things to consider is you want what you're mixing to be high processed carbs. So that means things like we've got pita breads here, which I'll break up into it. We've got um, rice cakes, corn cakes. Um, we've got um, crisp breads, which are corn based. We've got some pasta, which is much loved. Some noodles, some egg noodles behind there as well. Lots of breakfast cereals. Um, some barley rings, which are full of linseed and similar. Um, on that subject, linseed lozenges, which are also full of um, linseed oil. Um, some science selective, some nature's men menu mixer and some little in here. So there's a real range of ingredients, but they're all there for various different reasons. Um, so the highly processed carbs are there because they're very easy to digest and they're very easy for the rat to get um, calories from them and nutrients from them. The thing you need to try and be careful of when you're picking those is you want to pick things that are low phosphorus because high phosphorus um, grains, and they're particularly ones like um, oat, wheat, um, I think rye pretty hard as well, high as well. Anything that's a brown grain is higher than the white grain version, which is why I have white pita breads. Whereas if I was giving anything to younger rats, um, I would be looking for whole grain stuff. <laughs> Not that I give them very much um, bread. The only thing I've got as an exception in here that is fairly wheat based is the science selective. And I won't, I won't add loads of that. It's just quite useful because it's fairly processed and nice and complete and such. So I'll add a little bit and a bit to my mix anyway, but this just kind of bolts it up a bit. Um, the other main food group that I add is the kind of high oil, oil stuff. Um, so that's things like, I've got a bag of seeds here. Yep, yeah, right there. Um, they're just my normal seeds that I add to my, my normal mix, but I add more of them to this. I've also got some coconut, um, again, high calorie content, high oil content, nice and easy. And the linseeds lo lozenges are very high oil content too. And that's because oil is very calorific, it helps boost the calorie content a bit. And the reason I've got a lot of linseed in there is um, linseed or flaxseed, which is its other name, which is a lot cooler, but a lot more expensive to buy. Um, exactly the same stuff though, kind of top tip. Linseed is very useful for rats with kidney issues, which is often associated with um, their general lo losing weight and decline. So I try and pack plenty of that in. In fact, my, my seed mix has quite a lot of linseed in it, also hemp seed and such, but all of those are high in omega-3, which is the real kind of beneficial thing there. So what I'm going to do is mix in, in various amounts and I will say with this a lot of it's kind of making it a good mix but not getting hung up over the quantity so much. Um, I wouldn't, I, I would treat it in kind of two main food, food groups and you want it to be at least kind of 80-90% the processed carbs and maybe 10-20% the um, high oil content stuff. This isn't about creating a fully balanced mix, you couldn't feed a rat on this permanently. It's about creating a mix that um, contains lots of things that can be used to supplement a normal mix. So what I'm effectively doing is, you know, when I'm talking about my simple mix, for instance, where I'm adding a load of breakfast cereals, this is like an alternative version of those breakfast cereals with more different kind of flavours in and a bit more oil. And that basically weights your mix so that it's more processed grains. Um, and helps it be more kind of bioavailable for the rats to get the nutrients out of. Um, they also quite like it, it's quite tasty, um, so it's not a bad thing to do. So I'm going to start mixing up. I'm going to skip on to the kind of faster view because I feel it'll be a little bit boring watching me add all these thousands of ingredients, but you'll be able to get a kind of rough feel for what I'm adding and roughly how much. Um, though I'll be honest, a lot of it's done by kind of gut feel, what looks right, and you kind of get that over time as well. So let's move on to the um, fast view. So 
so it's all mixed up now we have our complete um oldie mix it'll do me for a while so what i'll end up doing is i'll bag up various bits and some of it will go in my tub ready to kind of feed the rats so all i do when i'm feeding it is i will get some of the normal mix which is this and then i add about a third this to the normal mix mix it up and sometimes if i'm feeling nice i'll break up the barley rings or if i see any like big bits of pita bread or um similar i should mention actually on the pita bread which i didn't mention before dry it out first so if you've got a dehydrator it's great for doing that i'll just leave it like i left it on the rat room radiator for a period of time um, but just leave it out until it's quite hard and breaks up very easily um, you don't want a lot of moisture in that and that way it'll keep for a long period of time um, but yes so that's my kind of complete mix with my normal food and the extra kind of calorie content and that'll go to my girls in the top cage um, at the moment I do have two of my girls that are split off most of the time um, for extra feeding just because they were getting too skinny in the main group um, but it's kind of like play it how you go um, if you have them as part of the main group you might want to take them out and stick them in a little cage for a couple of hours a day or maybe even half a day if they need it and give them some kind of extra food like this but it goes down really well they do love it particularly the egg noodles um, that, that is their favourite um, so I make sure I put plenty of those in but that's it it's not particularly complex it's not something that um, has to be perfect um, just look for things that are kind of high in processed carbs um, not too high in protein not too high in wheat or phosphorus high phosphorus grains and mix them up and, and try and get a good selection in there because you'll find that suits different rats and let's say pita breads you don't have to use pita breads you can use different form of bread um, just as long as you dry it out fully so that it doesn't get mouldy in the in the mix um, it should go down really well. So hopefully that works for you just as well as it works for me.